Okay, so uh, welcome to the next in line of our uh, drug prevention videos. Today we're focusing on case studies, uh, tectonic hazard case studies, and this video is going to cover your two earthquake case studies. Uh, so remember for your exam you've got to learn two, because uh, you don't know which one you're going to be asked on, you don't know what the theme of the question is going to be. So you first of all got your LEDC earthquake, that took place in Haiti uh, back in 2010. Uh, you should be able to refer to this in your case study booklet, this is your guide to the Haiti earthquake. So remember it. But it was caused by uh, movement of the North American plate and the Caribbean plate. As hopefully you can see this diagram here, the Caribbean plate moves this way, and then the North American plate is moving that way, okay? Along what's generally known as the Enriquillo Fault. Good place detail if your question asks you about the causes of your earthquake. So the Haiti earthquake caused by the movement of the Caribbean plate moving in the opposite direction of the North American plate. Uh, those two plates collided and then you into your general theory. Uh, they created friction, built with pressure, which led to the earthquake and that pressure was released in seismic waves around 10 miles outside the capital of Haiti. And uh, Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti, that was where the epicentre was. This video isn't going to go through the primary effects and the secondary effects because you've got this sheet in your case study booklet. Suffice to say, an example of a primary effect would be 230,000 people were killed, another 1.5 homeless, uh, 1.5 million homeless, I should say. Secondary effects, stress and trauma affecting mental health, um, looting and violence to get provisions, because obviously Haiti is an LEDC. Uh, down here, uh, you've got some points about responses, and this question, or rather this case study, links very well to a nice, simple nine-mark case study, which is all about describe and explain, where it's like describe the cause or explain the cause of your earthquake um, and the effects on people and the environment. I've got another uh, different uh, example. I just find the right one, uh, which is this one. Uh, no, it's not that one. Always fun doing uh, live videos, let's go to that one instead, okay? So, name and locate an example of a tectonic hazard in an LEDC. So, Haiti in the Caribbean. Describe the impacts of the hazard, we've just been through those. Get a bit of a mixture in, get primary and secondary. The death toll, the number of people who are homeless, the idea of like difficulty trying to rescue people, the idea of violence and looting, and then it says, Suggest so why it may be difficult to prepare for this hazard in your chosen area in the future. And again, you've got your place detail really in the first part of your answer because you've spoken about 230,000 people being killed. You've spoken about 1.5 million people being homeless. You've spoken about however many millions or billions of dollars it was that, uh, of damage that was caused. So in this bit, you can talk about the fact that Haiti is an LEDC. Therefore, it's difficult to prepare in the future because it lacks money. That's got to be the starting point, hasn't it? Okay, it lacks money, therefore it can't invest in technology to try and predict when future earthquakes will happen. It can't invest in protection methods like earthquake-proof buildings. Okay, so that's where Haiti fits in. It can either go into a cause or effect question or uh, an impact question and a preparing for the future. So that's Haiti, your LEDC case study. Uh, your LEDC uh, tectonic hazard is L'Aquila in Italy. And again, so L'Aquila located pretty much in central Italy, as hopefully you can see on the map there. And it's caused by the movement of the Eurasian plate um, and the Adriatic plate. And again, this is a conservative boundary, like Haiti was. These plates are moving almost side by side, but going off in slightly different directions. And again, the movement of these plates causes the collision, uh, the pressure builds up at the focus of the earthquake below the ground and then our epicentre was in L'Aquila. Again, the primary and secondary impacts, 297 people were killed, 1,500 people uh, were injured, 66,000 made homeless. Uh, secondary impacts, the town was partly sealed off, $14.2 billion worth of damage, uh, people made homeless so families had to live in tents. Okay? Down here, You've got a series of responses, okay? Um, so people were able to use mobile phones um, to like contact the emergency services and try and track down missing people. Uh, within 48 hours, 7,000 Italian rescue workers were using, were using modern equipment to rescue people. 40,000 homeless people were given high quality tents to live in, so not sort of flimsy tents, high quality tents. 10,000 people were given rooms in seaside hotels, and the list continues, okay? So, L'Aquila, 
a good question about responses because there's quite a bit more place detail about like number of rescue workers, about number of homeless people moved into tents, number of people given um, seaside accommodation, etc. And have also you've got your place detail up there, your facts and figures, okay? Possible questions that it works well in is this one this time. Explain the natural process which caused the tectonic uh, hazard event and describe how people were able to reduce the impact. So the natural process that would that caused it, you would talk about its location, you would talk about the Eurasian plate and the Adriatic plate, the movement, the conservative boundary and so on and so forth, and then how people were able to reduce the impact. Well they can't reduce the immediate impact, but then you're talking about like the longer term. So they reduce the impact of like the death toll by providing high quality tents and seaside accommodation for people who have been made homeless, okay? They minimise the impact by responding quickly within 48 hours and being able to use modern rescue equipment to search for survivors. That again reduced the death toll, okay? Uh, Haiti's and uh, sorry, L'Aquila in Italy and MEDC and therefore able to use uh, you know government funding to pay for repairs quickly. I think if you look at the case study again, it talks about being able to compensate people for their losses. Okay, so summarize the video two earthquakes. Haiti is your LEDC, very good for cause and effect or cause and difficulties preparing for the future. L'Aquila is your MEDC, again, very good for cause and effect, but also very good for uh, the, explaining the causes, natural processes, and explaining how people were able to reduce the impact. Excellent.